Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to make a quick video on how we handle our bathrooms living, I'm not going to say necessarily off grid, but um, we've been living um, uh, close to the water table where we can't have a, a septic system. Okay, so this is year eight, and at this point, we have come up with what is so far the best method for us, and it involves black soldier flies. Uh, I guess uh, it's it's oddly become a fun conversation, a conversation I never thought I would be having, uh, but I thought I would show you in real, uh, just in reality, uh, what exactly is going on here. Okay, first of all, we, uh, you know, in the beginning, we tried ashes, uh, Go in the toilet. Oh, we tried lime. We tried throwing a little dirt in there. We tried throwing leaves in there. We tried throwing everything. We have found that the cedar chips, this kind right here that you find at the store, is hands down the best solution. Uh, it works in winter and summer. In summer, we use less uh, because we have a friend that does the work for us. It's the black soldier fly, the BSF. They're, they're babies. Uh, they love us. Uh, they love our daily visits. Um, I'm going to give you a glimpse right now. This is not, uh, it's not something gross to look at, but we're going to take a look and see what exactly is going on in here. They are there. They stay at that level. Uh, the level does not rise. Uh, you can throw toilet paper in there and they'll eat it up. You can throw cedar chips. Watch what happens. I'm going to throw some cedar chips down in there. They actually eat the cedar chips too, which is really helpful because it makes their own uh, bodies uh, also not have an odor. We I have been in a situation where we had the soldier flies, and we weren't using the cedar chips, and they they actually made it a bit worse. They would liquefy it, they would keep it down, and they would handle it, but there was a, a smell. Uh, right now, I have no problem breathing in here, taking in a big old breath, and it's, I'm not going to say there's no smell, but there's very little, uh, similar to what you might get out of an indoor bathroom. You know, you're, you're going to have a little bit of a smell sometimes in an indoor bathroom. Um, having been doing this for eight years, uh, I will also say that uh, once we've, since we've been using outdoor bathrooms, I don't want a bathroom inside the house. I don't want anyone to have to live uh, live with what I, especially if you're cooking in the kitchen and maybe the bathroom's down the hall. I just don't want to be anywhere near the house if I'm going to use the restroom. Uh, I'm going to take a quick walk over here and show you some other ways we do it and I'll give you a chance to look around as well. This is, I started with a shack in the woods and I started planting things and grooming the property, clearing land. Things like that, growing banana trees, fig trees, orange trees. We also use cedar chips in, in this uh, structure we call the creek house right here. It's basically the same thing, but because it sits... Uh, right over actually over the water right over the creek uh, uh you can't use a hole in the ground uh, so we have to use a bucket uh in this situation um you just have to empty the bucket every now and then here's our creek elf and it's fun sleeping loft up there basic kitchen stuff Okay, yeah, so this bathroom is the, is the same design. Uh, we use the cedar chips, but it has uh, a urine diverter. Uh, so we divert the urine, and then and instead of flushing, you throw in a handful of chips. You try not to get them in that part because you don't want to clog the drain. Um, after a week or so, you may want to empty that. Anyway, I just thought I wanted to share some of the ways we handle uh, what is, I guess for some people, it's not a, something they want to talk about, but it's the reality we've had to deal with and, 
And to be honest with you, I'm quite proud that we don't take clean water and turn it into sewage by mixing everything and, and flushing it away. I'm so glad I do not have a sewer bill. Um, I'm so glad that we are actually helping the environment instead of another way. I'll take you over here to, here's another restroom on the property. Uh, this, we have a, a campground here, at least in, uh, yeah, we have a campground. Uh, so we build these structures. I take two by fours, cut them in half, and build these quick A-frames. I can use just about any old tarp or bag or anything you had left over. Um, this one hasn't. I got a stuck door. Uh, stuck door, so I can't show you that one. This one's just a hole in the ground, and uh, because this one's not used regularly, um, the, the soldier fly larvae don't usually appear. Um, but it's used so infrequently, it's not a big deal. So when you have the soldier flies working for you, you you know, you want to make sure you feed them. You can even, you know, I had a cantaloupe going bad the other day, and I thought, well, you know, there hadn't been many, many people around this week to feed our friends, so you throw the cantaloupe in there. You go back there a couple of hours later, and the cantaloupe is gone. Just gone. So they're just like pets. We feed them, and they take care of us, and we greatly appreciate the soldier flies. Okay, that's about all I can think of to say right now. I've just been putting off making a video about this subject. I probably should go back and think about all the hundreds of things that I could talk about, but I think this is pretty good for now. Y'all have a great day.